Delta Company, Dave Kaufman, U.S. Marine Corps, Gulf War veteran, accompanied by Ron Terran, U.S. Air Force, Gulf War veteran. Will all veterans of Gulf War and the Global War on Terror please stand up and be recognized? Thank you very much. Each year, it is an honor for the United Veterans Council to name a veteran who has demonstrated excellent service to his or her nation and community. This year, in recognition of the 90th anniversary of World War I and Armistice, the recipient of the Veteran of the Year Award goes to all veterans here. All veterans, please rise and accept this. Your service to our nation is why we enjoy the freedom we have today, and we thank you. I'd like to introduce to you now Benny Benavides, Korean War Veterans Post 102. Benny? Ladies and gentlemen, Congress veterans, and of course the Congressman uh, Bob Pilner that has done so much for this veterans in this valley. It looks like we're going to have him in, in D.C. for another two years. So let's keep supporting him. My name is N.O. Benavides. I'm the commander of the uh, Imperial Valley Korean War Veterans Association, Chapter 102. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us, honoring all those who served in the armed forces of the United States. You know, re regardless of your political affiliation, or feelings about the war in Iraq, the fact remains that thousands of our young men and women continue in danger in the service of our country. As of today, 4,193 have died in the Iraq war. 908 have died in Afghanistan. Thousands injured or returning home with life-threatening injuries and some would take years to cure and some would be permanent. Our freedom continues to be paid with lives limbs and minds of men and women who courageously have fought for our country. We must continue to support our troops. Remember, freedom is not free. We must never take freedom for granted. We cannot never forget those who fought so we can continue to have the freedom we enjoy today. Remember our veterans on this Veterans Day. Today, the Korean War Veterans Association Chapter 102 honors 
the fallen heroes of Operation Iraq. With the plaque that we have bought for them at the, at the wall, at the Veterans Wall here by the Pioneers Museum. We have uh, bought a plaque for all seven members, or warriors rather, that died in Iraq. After this ceremony, we will uh, escort the families uh, to the wall to go and witness the plaque of their fallen heroes. The fallen heroes are the following. Corporal Eric H. Silva, U U.S. Marine Corps, killed in action April the 3rd, 2003. No answer. Private First Class, Pablo Manzano Jr., U.S. Army, killed in action August 25th, 2003. Answer. Private First Class, Sir. Stephen Acosta, U.S. Army, killed in action October 26, 2003. No answer. Lance Corporal, Marcus M. Cherry, U.S. Marine Corps, killed in action April 6, 2004. No answer. Sergeant Alfredo B. Silva, U.S. Army, killed in action September the 15th, 2005. No answer. Sergeant Luis M. Montes, U.S. Army, killed in action September the 7th, 2006. No answer. Corporal Cesar A. Granados, U.S. Army, killed in action September the 15th, 2006. No answer. We also honor in 70, 70, 70 veterans of Imperial Valley that have died this year since January. The names of all 70 are in insert in your program. Due to time we won't be able to read all of them, but those are the 70 comrades of ours that have died in, in this year. Thank you. And God bless America and salute your veterans and support your veterans. Thank you. Scouts have some flowers to offer to the families of the fallen heroes, the families that are here. If the family of uh, Eric Silva, this Pablo Manzano Jr. Will the family of Sergeant Luis A. Montes please stand up? <laughs> 